What's up? You're watching Five Minutes to Awesome, and today we're making a coaster float without being tossed into a glass. Mmm, yummy science. Let's get right into it. As you can see, our image is an extremely uh, attractive coaster from a co-working place here called Common Desk. And it also has a lovely uh, box of Girl Scout cookies in the background. Lovely Boca. I was at the office waiting for a meeting, so I decided to prop some stuff up on the desk and take a picture. After I got done with the picture, I decided that the little lens case that's holding up the coaster was unattractive and I had to get rid of it. So I thought, why not show you guys how I got rid of it? All right, so the tools that we'll be using today are the elliptical marquee tool, the brush tool, or some people call it the paintbrush tool, and the healing brush. All right, let's go. Of course, first we're gonna duplicate our layer. Uh, that's Command J on uh, Mac and Control J on Windows. We wanna grab our elliptical marquee tool, make our selection by holding shift to get a perfect circle. Then we're gonna right click and hit feather. We're gonna go ahead and feather that by three pixels. Make sure that the selection is exactly where you want it. I went ahead and nudged it up a little bit with the uh, cursor keys on the keyboard. We're gonna invert the selection by pushing command shift and I on a Mac or control shift and I on a PC. After my selection is good and it is inverted, we're gonna go ahead and grab the brush tool uh, select a color somewhere near the area uh, that you want to paint over. And we're just going to paint quickly over everything in that color. Uh, and that way we just kind of have almost like a clean canvas that is in the family of colors of the background that we're going to be replacing. Then we're going to grab the healing brush. If you push option on the Mac or uh, alt on a PC, you can go ahead and grab a sample of whatever you want to uh, heal or clone and uh, get to work. So I'm gonna make several little selections just kind of near the area. Looks like the brush is a little bit too hard for me, so I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna bring that down all the way to 0% to make the brush very soft. That's gonna blend in easier that way. And then I'm happy with this selection, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go kind of hog wild for just a little bit. Why do people say hog wild? I guess there are wild hogs, so maybe that's why. Uh, we're gonna create kind of just the desk or a floor, if you will, uh, for this, instead of just that solid color that we painted. I think that's about good right there, almost. I want a little more of this color reflection to end up on the desk. So we're gonna just kinda add a little bit more. All right, then let's look at the before and after. That's pretty good. Now I noticed something else. There's actually a little crease in the top of the coaster. So we're gonna go ahead and use our healing brush again. Uh, we're going to go with a harder brush for this, so right click, and then we're going to take that up to 40, 41, 42 percent, and then just uh, get to work on that. I'm making different selections as I go. Uh, this is a very kind of fibrous looking coaster, so you want to go in different places to make the selection uh, so it looks kind of more organic and natural. The fibers go in lots of different directions. Okay, so I think that's pretty good, and I'm going to leave that right there for now. This is one way that you can get rid of a background uh, or an object that you don't want in your picture, and it kind of gives you that floating look, uh, even though it was actually sitting on the desk, but because everything is so blurred out, it looks like it's just kind of sitting there in the air a little bit. If this video was helpful for you, make sure that you like it by giving us that big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. We'll be adding more tutorials weekly. All right, until next time, stay frosty, folks.